advertise how are you all and welcome back to my channel well since unlock 1.0 has begun and offices have started working partially it's time to get life back on its track and to bounce back of course with a lot of precautions well, have you wondered standing in front of your wardrobe about what to wear to the office today and then ended up wearing the same old shirt and the trouser well we totally understand because pulling off an office look is really dicey. You can't really go over the top and you can't be understated as well. So here we present a solution for your problem. I am starting with this series of office look books wherein I will be creating six different office looks. Having said that, how do you like my makeup today? How do you like my overall look today? By the way, this look is inspired from Bella Hadid. Do comment down in the section below if you really need to have a tutorial for this look and also you can let me know how do you like this look. Do you love it? Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Everything's welcome here. Well, in this series we are not only going to pay attention to our attire but we are also going to teach you six different makeup looks to ace your office every day. So if you're looking for ways to make statement out of your office appearance, this video is for you. Before moving ahead, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please press that subscribe button down there and hit the bell icon to get notified every time a video has been uploaded next time. Well, in today's episode, we are going to talk about a few quintessentials that you need to take care of for your everyday office looks. So these are like few important points that you really need to emphasize and we really forget. These are those minor details that we really forget in our day-to-day -day life. Let's begin with attire. Now, attire forms a really important part of your entire look. What you wear plays a very important role in how you look. So, choosing your right attire is very important. And it is totally not mandatory to wear that boring office white shirt and a black trouser to look professional every day. You can always experiment with your dressing. Now here when I say experimenting doesn't really mean that you wear like very bold prints but yes you can go for prints like a tiny mini mini prints for example some checks, cute prints like bow prints, floral prints these are really in nowadays and work really well for us Indians since we have most of time summers so these small uh, added up color with some prints, floral prints would look really nice for your office day to day. Choosing your right fabric is also very important. When it comes to me personally, I really don't like wearing that old cotton white shirts. One, cotton gets creased very easily. So always avoid wearing pure cotton shirt. You can always wear something which is having a blend of cotton in it. But pure cotton is not really my thing. Instead of choosing cotton, I would recommend you to use flowy fabric. Especially when it comes to blouses and shirts, use flowy fabric. Nowadays, there are a lot of uh, flowy garments available in the market. Do not wear something that is very tight fitted to you or do not wear something that is oversized for you. Choose a nice fitting for yourself. blazer can instantly add a spark to your look. Your entire casual office look can turn totally professional just with an addition of a blazer. So a blazer forms a very important and very classy part of dressing for me. You can try different kinds of blazer. There are checked blazers available. There are striped blazers available. There are single button blazers available. The only thing that you need to remember while choosing your blazer is that it should be fitting you very nicely. You can also try different looks with oversized blazers such as crunching up your sleeves or else you can also try belting up your oversized blazers and it will give you a very nice professional look. Well, as they say, a good skin is very important for a flawless makeup. Hence, always take care of your skin. So, before setting out in sun, always use a sunscreen.
While choosing a sunscreen, always keep a few points in your mind. Number one is your SPF, that is sun protection. So always go for some sunscreen which is having minimum of 30 SPF. Number two, it should be water resistant. You are going to wear that sunscreen throughout the day. So make sure that that sunscreen is water resistant, doesn't come off in case you have some water, some kind of water. If you meet some rain or you know you are having teary eyes, it should not be affected. Secondly, uh, make sure your sunscreen is having a good moisturizing quality in it. So there are some sunscreen that may tend to look oily or greasy after some time. So make sure that the sunscreen that you're using is good enough to moisturize your skin. Uh, makeup in office should be kept classic, conventional and minimalistic. While choosing your foundation, make sure you are not using a very heavy duty foundation. Go for something that is giving you medium coverage and if foundation is not a really everyday thing for you, why not to switch it out with a BB cream? Yes, BB cream gives you a very nice sheer coverage and it is moisturizing as well. So try switching your foundation with BB cream. Well, your eyes are one of the most important feature on your face. Make sure it is always highlighted. Well, while take, making sure your eye makeup for office, it should always be given a touch of dimension with the help of some eyeliner, kajal or mascara. Avoid using glittery eyeshadows and eyeliners while going for office. Doesn't really give you a nice professional look. When it comes to adding eyeshadow for your office look, I always prefer using single or dual eyeshadows for my office look. I never go beyond two colors on my eye for my office looks. Go easy while choosing your lip color. You really don't need to use very bold colors to make a statement in your office. While you can use some cheerful shades of pink, oranges, browns and nudes to give that additional touch to your makeup. Some delicate shades of burgundy, wine and red can also add that magic to your look. When coming to your hair, there can never be a bad hair day at your office. You always have to look very professional coming to your office looks. So uh, even if you want to leave your hair open, make sure that your hair are straightened enough. They are not looking very frizzy or greasy when you are going for the office. In case you are facing some frizzy or greasy hair, try making a ponytail, a sleek one or a nice one to give it an extra dimension. Well, do you know? According to a survey, your shoes are the very first thing to be noticed when you meet someone. Try switching your round shoes with some pointy heels. They make you look more stylish, professional and edgy. And if you are in a job where you need to be on your toes all the time, try using block heels or wedges with pointy touch. And if you are not a heel lover, try replacing your heels with nice trendy sneakers. They also give you very professional look and are also comfortable throughout the day. Well, we women carry an entire world in our bag and can never go anywhere without our bags. Well, girls, I know how much you love your sling bags, backpacks, hobo bags, but try switching all your Saatchi bag with some structure handbag. Structured handbags give you some structure and they also look very professional when it comes to office. Guess what? Not only bags but jewelries can also accessorize your entire look. Well, you can jazz up your entire outfit by adding some sort of statement jewelry to it but remember one at a time. It's very easy to go over the board with jewelries. Always be mindful while choosing your jewellery and go for some small elegant items like this and this and avoid using huge giant pieces like this and this. Last but not the least, always make sure to pay extra attention to your personal hygiene. 
coming when it comes to your hands always make sure that they are nicely moisturized your nails are nicely polished and they are not chipped at all always use a nice perfume or a deodorant last but not the least your smile forms an important part of your entire dressing make sure to smile always and also make sure that your teeth are also wide enough to look good when you smile that's it guys these were a few tips and tricks to look classy chic and elegant at your office every day do hit the like button if you have really enjoyed this video as there's a lot of hard work gone in in creating this small piece for you guys tata bye bye sayonara this is nancy signing off and stay tuned for the videos